Welcome back everybody. Welcome to Cooking with Paul. So today I am going to make the no mayo chili. I've done uh, the no mayo uh, sauce for you guys, but I make lasagna, I make uh, chili, I make ketchup, Anything that has tomato in it, it's tomato base, I substitute it to make it no tomato. So if you have allergies, a tomato allergy, this is a perfect recipe. So this is a healthy chili recipe. It's going to have all my spices and it's gonna have, and you know, it's really funny with this particular recipe because most people don't really believe that there's no tomatoes in it. They really think it's a tomato base. Um, the base of this recipe, which I'll put the recipe in the link below, but the base of this recipe honestly is beets and carrots the two main ingredients. And then you can expound onto that to whatever you want, whether it's Italian or a chili, you know, and so on and so forth, you know. And uh, it's amazing. It's an amazing recipe. Um, even if you don't have a tomato allergy, it's a great recipe. It's fun, it's easy, and it, it's healthy and delicious. So let's get started. So I have all the ingredients already laid out here and I always use ground turkey in my uh, chili. I used to use the ground beef but getting away from red meat uh, made a little healthier option. So I do ground turkey and this is already cooked. So I, I cooked it up and I spice my ground turkey first. You know, so it's already cooked, it's ground up, it's already spiced. You know, and the same spices that I'm gonna put in the sauce, I already have in the ground beef. I mean the ground, ground turkey, sorry about that. <laughs> so anyways, and I use, just to let you know, I use beets. Normally I would use fresh uh, beets, like Costco has them already cooked, but they're fresh. They're vacuum sealed, they're not canned or anything like that. Um, didn't have them, so I ended up using canned, which is okay. The only thing difference is is uh, any canned products hold more sodium. So just watch your sodium level if you, if that's what you are doing. Um, and then your cooked carrots. You know, you can cook your, buy carrots and cook them yourself, or you can buy canned carrots, but just as good because it all gets blended together. The other, Ingredients I use, and these are so, look so nice. These peppers, I use the yellow pepper, I use the orange pepper, and I use the orange, yellow, and red. And I don't use the green pepper because the green pepper just seems to, to uh, overwhelm the flavor and take out flavor, take away from flavor of the others, you know, so, and I kind of, so I don't use green pepper. Um, the other thing is my, my spice ingredient is garlic, cumin, chili powder, red pepper flake, and then salt and pepper. Those are all my ingredients for spices. Um, they're uh, 
if you, you know, I kind of like play with it a little bit. I kind of, it, it's, you know, it's whether what, what you like after you cook it. If it doesn't have enough salt in it, put more salt, pepper or garlic or, you know, it depends on your, your own palate of uh, what you like and what you don't like, you know, so. Um, so I'm going to be putting all this into the blender. It's going to make a little noise, but I'll move the camera a little bit so you can see exactly what's going on and see all those delicious vegetables. Okay. So with the, um, I don't drain the, uh, juice out of the beets either. And uh, I keep it in there because it'll go right in the chili. And what's amazing is, is, is I, I don't really care for beets. I don't, I don't care for cooked carrots either. But they're a great source of uh, iron and a lot of really good vitamins. Um, but you can't taste that it's a beet. You can't taste that it's a carrot because it's blended in. The peppers add such a wonderful flavor to it, along with all the spices. Everybody goes, oh my God, I hate beets. I hate beets. I hate carrots. You won't even taste beets in this recipe. You know, you will love this recipe. Please give it a try. Just even if, even if for anything, just give it a try because you'll really like it. It's really simple. It's not a real complex recipe. You know, if you just watch what I'm doing and watch your ingredients, it's, it's, it's really simple. Have your, have your, a really good blender, you know, so you're gonna be blending all this together. So I normally use two cans of beets to one can of uh, sliced carrots, which is a cooked carrot already, okay. And then as I go along, I am going to put in some, and I just kind of like add these in as I'm going along too. I don't just, um, because if I, I cut too much, I cut too much. I always can use it for other things and other recipes. You know, so, and I kind of equally throw a little bit in there. The other thing I'm doing is I'm using fresh onion today. Um, and I normally would use like an onion powder, but when you get a chance to do some fresh onion, a lot of people don't like onion in it, you know, but the onion flavor gives it really good. So I'm blending the onion as much as I can because I have people in my family that truly don't like onion but don't mind onion powder, but they're not crunching into it. So what I'm doing is kind of blending this. I'm not hiding it in there. Uh, so you still get that flavor without crunching into an item. I mean, an, an onion. You know, so. Okay, I'm gonna use, the, I'm gonna blend it so it's going to be a little bit noisy. And the sauce, you can, when you, when you blend this up and you take, and I want to show you the sauce. Look how nice and red that sauce is. You know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And the aroma that you get from this sauce, just this alone, if you smell the peppers and the onion and stuff like that, you don't smell like beets and carrots. Uh, so it's incredible. Just incredible. Um, and I just hope you try this recipe. It's 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 a great recipe. And, um, 
So I threw, threw a couple more pieces of my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful peppers. Gosh, it just, it was just right this time of year. It's so wonderful. You know, and it's, it is so nice out. It is, I love this time of year. It's fall, temperatures are a little cool, sun is shining, um, changes season is coming. You know, change is so good for people, even if you don't like to change. You know, once you change, it's great. It's the process of change that's more difficult. Love summer, I love fall. Which is a little rough, depends on where you where you live. You know, here in Port Orchard, Washington, we have such a mild winter. We don't have a real hard winter like Wisconsin or you know the East Coast. So it, I don't mind it. You know. Okay, so I'm gonna add my uh, spices right to the sauce here. Blend them in. So. I have, uh, you can use fresh garlic, of course, just like anything, but I just use granulated garlic and I have a teaspoon of that. And I have a teaspoon of red pepper flake. You don't have to use red pepper flake. I like a little bit of, gives it a little bit of bite, you know, a little bit, little heat, but not, not too spicy, just, this warms the palate, I call it. it. Just warms the palate. And cumin. I have two uh, tablespoons of cumin. I love cumin. It's just a wonderful, wonderful. It gives it that flavor. Put that right in there. Uh, chili powder. Two tablespoons of chili powder. And like I say, once you blend this and you have your chili cooking on the stove and you get, always taste what you cook. Don't just cook it and don't taste it. Taste it as you go along. You're going to adjust your, your uh, spices, um, especially if it may need a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know. Uh, a one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of, I use pink Him Himalayan salt. I don't use regular white table salt, you know, iodine salt. This is right from the earth. Okay. Put that aside. I'm going to give this another blend. Somebody's car alarm has gone off. I didn't hear that. Let's get this on right. There we go. Okay, let's give this another whirl. I still have some room for the rest of my peppers, so I'm gonna throw those in there. And the sauce is getting nice and thick too. You know, the best thing about making like chili, uh, chili and uh, like spaghetti, I love how it tastes the next day. Cook it, cook it up. And the next day, after sitting in the refrigerator, all those spices settle in. And gosh, does it taste good. And, um, okay. and I blend my, I, I blend my stuff pretty good. So when you're cooking it, only be, it, you don't have chunks of anything in it. It's a nice blended sauce. Um, if you if you if you don't mind 
little pieces and chunks of, you know, of the pepper, onion, and stuff like that. Don't blend it as much, you know. Some people like that little crunch and stuff when they're, as they're eating it. But I, I tend to blend it because of getting rid of that crunch because some people, family members, don't like it. You know, so I'm accommodating to them, <laughs> which is okay. I don't mind. I'm gonna give it another one more blend. Bear with me, please. And the other thing you can do, which is really, really good, is right now you can take this, this sauce here and literally just put it in a bowl and put it in the freezer when you, when you want chili sauce to make chili, you have your sauce already ready, you know? So it's a wonderful thing. And see the color again? You know, that's why everybody goes, that is, there's no way there's, that's not, uh, tomato. There's not a drop of tomato in here. It's a lot of goodness. A lot of goodness. So I'm going to turn my stove on medium. I pour my sauce in. I don't want to splash too much of it. Here. And you can see How wonderful this sauce is. There we go. I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Sorry about this. There we go. My last couple of recipes. I didn't have um, the camera adjusted correctly because. Uh, couldn't see what I was doing. So, okay. So this sauce is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sauce. Look at that. Okay. Now, um, from this point forward, it is literally the what the, your liking. You know, this is what I choose, and. I put a uh, black bean in mine. So I drained a container of black bean, which this is exactly 29 ounces, one pound. So I dumped the whole thing in there. And mix that up, add to it. And I think I'm going to put another can of beans in there because we like a lot of beans. And I usually, and most people use kidney beans, pinto bean, a chili bean, which is a pinto bean, and, or a black bean. We really like black bean, so... That is one of the only things I actually put in here is black bean. So I put two cans of black bean in here. And then drain these. And we're going to have to be 100%, you know, but most of it is drained. There we go. Okay. Let's stir that up. See, this pot is getting full. This is a dinner. And that is going to be so delicious. Mm, you smell those peppers in there. Wow, it smells so good. Okay. So at this point in time, the only thing I need to do is add my ground turkey. Uh, so, so I have 
all my sauce for my vegetables that I blended up in here. And I put my spices, remember I put my spices, you know, in the blender already. Okay, my cumin and chili powder, salt, pepper, the garlic and the pepper flake, the red pepper flake, you know. So that's all in here. Now my meat, when I cooked my meat, just remember, I cooked my meat and then I did the same spices here as I did, I put them in here as I cooked them. So it, you know, my meat's really nice and spiced too, already. So I'm just gonna add this, and this is a, about a package and a half, which is probably about, I would say, two pounds of meat, something to that effect. So I'm just gonna put that right in here. Look at that, and then mix that in. And my chili is pretty thick, which I, which I love thick chili. And, um, So I apologize for the phone, but I'm not gonna answer it. Not when I'm cooking. <laughs> so anyways, so this is, uh, this, this is basically the finished product. Um, uh, get it to temperature and if it starts bubbling, Turn it down to low. Keep it on really nice and low. And put your lid on and just let it simmer. Okay. Uh, you can be simmering for quite a while. You know. And you can serve it with, you know, just as it is with a dollop of sour cream, a little bit of cheese and onion on the top, or you can um, put it over some pasta, make chili mac, and I'll have some cornbread with it. I don't know. But this is a great fall, winter um, uh, recipe. So this is our no tomato chili. There's no tomato in here and uh, it's very healthy. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. Um, I'm almost tipping out my trap bite over. There you go. Um, hope everybody enjoyed that. I, uh, I enjoy making it. You know, the smell is just incredible, you know. Uh, and uh, if you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, I hope you enjoy it. Just give it a try. Don't let the beets and don't let the carrots scare you away. <laughs> it is healthy. Uh, so make that for your family. Don't even tell them. Don't tell your family that there's beets and carrots in there. Just make it. You know, and then they'll, and they'll tell you how wonderful it is. You know, then later on someday you can just tell them. <laughs> Not lying to them, you just didn't tell them. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this recipe. Uh, give me some ideas, give me some comments, hit the like button, and enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great weekend, everybody.